And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Games and Fun Forest Festival. It says three in one, play, puzzle, and read out. This is a giant box, and this on here, it says two plus. This really is a pile of things for two, three, four, five-year-olds maybe. There are some games in here. There is basically a box of toys, and there are stories. Let me clearly give you a quick overview of everything that's really in this pretty large box. There are several games included inside this box. Uh, each player will get their animal. So you can take your animal and you're going to pick, and these are big, chunky wooden animals. You can even put a picture of that animal in front of each player. By the way, the pictures of these animals are all puzzles, so you're going to have to figure out which one matches which. No, that one doesn't match that one. Does that one match? There we go. So you can also just play with this game as a puzzle. And so you'll start in the path, and the path will be out straighter. I just have it closer for uh, just showing inside the camera here. And you roll a die, and then you see how far you move. Um, and that's the first one to get to the end is the winner. It's a simple roll and move game, but you're teaching kids to count the dots one, two, or three on the die. You can add fruit to a spot, and if they land on fruit, you say feed the fruit to your animal, and you turn it over and the fruit is eaten, and they get to go in extra space. Or if you land on the spot where water, water balloon is, you got hit by a water balloon, and then we turn it over to show that the water balloon is gone. And that's the normal, that's one game. Another game is you can line up all the animals here on the board. And whoever is the first animal, you're going to put a bunch of leaves on the board. And so each animal, there's a whole pile of different leaves, you move to the, where the leaf is, you put it on the head, and you got to move back without the leaf falling off. If so, you get to keep the leaf. If the leaf falls off, you don't get to keep it. And you keep going until all the leaves are gone. And whichever player has gotten the most leaves is the winner. Another one is you can take a bunch of these trees and put them around the board and then put the leaves on the board. And many of the leaves have a picture on the back of them. And so you can turn over a leaf and then you look at the back of these. Do they match? Yes, good job. So you're looking for matches. There's a mushroom and a mushroom. Here we have a ladybug and a snail. Those don't match. So that's a memory match game that players can play. You can even play kind of a cooperative memory match game where you put out a bunch of flowers here, and you're trying to go and find the flower that matches your color. So if I was purple, the fox, I would want that color, and then I get to go to the party with everybody else. That's pretty much the different games that are in the box. You can also use the, 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 the book, and there's a pretty big, hefty book here. It comes with some stories in it, too, that you can tell, and as you read these stories, you get to move around the animals. It's kind of like an interactive play set. Now, this stuff is extremely simple, right? Roll and move, feed the animals. It's for little kids, and it's great for little kids. These are really chunky pieces. The kids are gonna like them, the puzzles. There's really a lot in here. I have a two-year-old, and he can sit and just play with the pieces, and we can learn, hey, roll a die, how many pieces do you move? And then once you, you kind of get that feature down, then you add in, these are good spaces, and these are bad spaces. Oh, no. And then let's do memory match. And let's do memory match with a little bit of a twist. And then let's do a little bit of cooperative game where we work together. There's nothing fantastic in here. And for people who are five-year-olds, I would say, no, there's way better games out there. But for kids who are just learning colors and shapes and numbers, this is an amazing, big, fat, chunky tool game set. The stories are great. The puzzles are good. You're getting a lot of fun things here. Even if you bought this simply as a toy, it would be worth it for the kids. Haba does a great job at getting games for every age. And people often ask me, what should I do with a very young child? Well, here I have an answer for you. Games and Fun Get Forest Festival is for a very young child. Certainly, I recommend this one. Uh, my son enjoys playing with the pieces. Uh, other little kids are going to have a lot of blast with this too. And it's a great way for a parent to connect with their child. Check it out. Dice Tower Judgment for Little Kids Approved. Thank you.
Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Yeah.